Okay, this is mach Machine Basics, Extreme Basics. Thread goes here, gets looped here, down into this groove here, under here, back up. There's a silver hook right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a silver hook and you loop around and you bring it down and you loop your thread through here and then into the needle. First things first, we have to thread our bobbin. So you follow the diagrams on the top of your machine to thread your bobbin. Your bobbin has a hole from the inside which you then thread your bobbin from the inside to the outside. This hook right here on this side moves back and forth. You put your bobbin here and shift it over and that allows you to do your bobbin. You use your, your pedal to thread. Once you are threaded, you pop it back, snip your thread, Oops. and then it goes into the bottom here. And then you need to re-thread your machine. So you pull your thread back out, and following the diagrams here at the top, you hook it through, bring it down the groove, around, up, around the silver hook there, Oops, let's do that again. Down. Behind that hook there, there's a hook right in front of the needle that you need to pass it through. And then through the needle. Once you have your needle threaded, you thread your needle and in the slit of your presser foot, this is called a presser foot, you slide the thread to the back. Your bobbin you follow the diagrams and the instructions in, that you get in your manual and pay attention to your manual because it has all your information in there. So you take it and you drop it in and there's a little slit right here you thread through. So you do your thread and you pull it around and it's this machine it has this extra little cutter so you slide your thread through here and you slice it and it cuts it right there and then you put the lid on. And now this particular machine is all threaded and ready to go. Okay, right here I'm going to show you something really quick. Right here is a lever that lifts and drops this. This is called a presser foot. The presser foot is what helps hold your fabric to the feed dogs. The feed dogs are these little um, sharp pointy things here on the bottom. The feed dogs move your, your fabric forward and it's the presser foot helps keep the fabric down onto the feed dogs. This presser foot lifts everything up and down, like I said before. When you lift it up, you can easily grab your thread and pull it. But when those feed dogs are down, it's harder to pull. You can't pull it because then the machine's in place and it needs to be able to do it on its own. So always lift your presser foot up when you want to stop sewing and put the presser foot down in order to make the machine go because if you don't you'll have problems. Now that the top of your machine is threaded and your bobbin's threaded and you've, you've slid the thread through the slit there you're going to take your hand wheel and turn it towards you and what that thread's going to do it's going to grab that bobbin thread. You See that bobbin thread just disappeared? And you lift it up and now you have both your threads from the top and the bottom right there. Well, it's underneath there. So now you can start sewing. You can press your, put your fabric there and start to sew. I want to talk real quickly about the knobs here at the top of this machine. These are three different knobs here. One controls the length of your stitch, how long your stitch is going to be. This one controls the width of your stitch and your needle position. So depending on how wide you want, like your zigzag stitches, do you want a little zigzag or a wide zigzag? And this also helps you with your needle position. You can have your needle in the middle, on the left, or on the right. And this is your tension disc. Your tension disc tells your machine how tightly you want it to hold the thread as it sews.
For this particular machine, there are 27 stitches that are built in. These top stitches right here are your basic stitches plus a couple of little embroidery stitches. Like, that's a little embroidery stitch, those are embroidery stitches. That's a buttonhole, so you can sew your own buttonholes. And these are um, overcast stitches that allow you, that's a stretch stitch, that allow you to do more things with your machine. These stitches down here are called stretch stitches. And you get to these part, this part, by here. Up here, there will be an indication on the top of your machine where you would need to go. And you, this is your length. This is where you would go for your length. But if you scroll it all the way here to the side where it says SS, now you can get to all of these stitches right here. And the knob here tells you where you need to go and what you're doing in order to get those particular stitches. So as long as I am in SS here, that means number 20 is what I'm going to be sewing with. When I'm no longer in SS, and I come back to my normal stitch length, which is about uh, about 3 I guess, then the, these stitches are the ones that I'm going to get and the length would be 3. Okay. Here you can see the indications on top of the sewing machine just a little bit better. That tells you the length, that's the width. This, these pictures right here show you the needle position. So for this particular machine, this blank space right here, this little knob, that's the middle needle position. So that's the normal standard one. If we move this and line up our line right here with this little blank one on number five, it becomes the right needle position. And if we go to this one way over here on the other side, it becomes the left needle position or, you know, whichever position it's supposed to be.